Welcome to another training segment brought to you by the North Carolina Office of State Fire Marshal. In this segment of the Ask Vent Show, we're going to be going over rigging a basket for a vertical lower. Vince, can you go over for us and direct us through rigging the basket for a vertical lower? Yeah, no problem, Carney. Uh, to start off with, again, just like in the previous episodes, we need a suitable basket, which we've got right here, a good heavy-duty Stokes basket. Also, our rescue ropes. Uh, we're going to be attaching three ropes to the basket when we're working in the vertical environment. Uh, for purposes of clarity, we've left off the internal and external lash and we don't have a victim in the basket. We're going to be going over how to attach the main line, how to attach the belay line, and how to attach the tag line. To help this in communications when we're doing this, it's a good idea to use different colored ropes. As you can see right here, we've got a tan rope with a blue tracer, actually two blue tracers in it. We've got a blue rope with a white tracer, and we've got a white, a white rope with a blue tracer. This allows us to easily identify if we're talking about a rope, I need some tension on this rope or that rope, uh, we can easily identify what we're talking about. We're going to start off with the, the main line, and it's going to attach to the head of the basket, and Matt is going to measure the rope and get it attached. What he's going to do is he's going to measure a basket's length plus one arm length. This will give us sufficient amount of rope to tie the head of the basket. He's going to start at the first vertical pin that goes to this, this top rail. And he's going to do what we call an under, under, under on the patient's left hand side in this example. And he's going to take the rope under the vertical pin that goes up and down and under the rail. He's going to travel if you notice, he's kept his hand marking that spot so he didn't lose it, so he doesn't end up cutting himself short or end up with a lot of excess. But he went under the vertical pin, which means towards the feet, and under the, the horizontal rail right there, and he's coming back over, and he's going to do a split lock and clove around that pin. Once he's secured the first split lock and clove hitch to the basket, he's going to take the running end and he's going to travel underneath the basket and he's going to come over to the patient's right side. And since we started under, under, under on the patient's left side, we're going to start over, over, over on this side. And the purpose for this is he wraps this, if he starts under again, the clove hitch is actually going to end up finishing on the top and the lead leg, which is going to go to the bowling at the top of the the main line would actually be pulling the knot apart. By starting over, 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 he's going to come over this one and he's going to end up on the bottom, which will allow the clove hitch to actually be drawn together and lock it into this vertical pin. As you can see, he went over this vertical rail this way and then he came over the top rail and he's going to come back over the rope and finish up a split lock and clove hitch. And as you can see, when he pulls in the direction that this is going to load, it pulls the bottom of this clove hitch into this pin, which securely holds it in place. At this point, he's going to go about 18 to 24 inches above the head of the basket, and he's going to tie a bowling. The reason we select the bowling knot to tie right here, as opposed to something like a, a tracer aid or whatever, is it allows him, by tying the bowling, it's easily adjustable. So once he ties that, if it's not loading both legs the same, he can easily manipulate that bowling to, to shorten or lengthen one leg or the other. Okay? And now we've got the main line attached. Okay, the second thing we're going to attach to the basket is going to be the belay line. And you'll be able to see it's very important to have these multicolored lines. It makes it real easily identifiable which is, which is the main line, which is the blade line, which is the tag line. We're going to be using this blue rope. And it's going to fit. It's going to be a, basically the same thing we've tied here for the main line. We're just going to shrink it down and you use these two pins right here at the head of the basket and tie everything inside of it. So since it's shrunken down, we won't need that full basket at an arm's length. Actually, Matt's going to tie it with about three quarters of the length of the basket will be sufficient to tie this. And 
And just as he did on this pin down here, he's going to use this pin at the head and he's going to tie a split lock and clove hitch around that vertical pin. And he's going to finish off the same way we did, somewhere between the top of the basket and the mainline bowling, which is about two feet up. This one is going to be about 12 or so inches above, maybe 18 inches above the head of the basket. And again, he's going to tie it off with a bowling. And the reason we use the bowling, again, it allows us to easily slide through the bowling and adjust so that we get an equal force on each leg of the, the basket. And as always, he's safetying it off with an overhand. And that completes the main line and the belay line attachment points for a vertical lower. Okay, the final attachment point in rigging the basket for a vertical lower is going to be the tag line. Remember, anytime we're working with a, a fragile load or a life load in this kind of environment, we're always going to want a tag line. That allows us to control that basket instead of it just beating and banging against the rock or the side of the building or whatever. It allows us some control over that basket. It keeps it from spinning. There's a lot of reasons for using it. And Carney's going to attach to the bottom of the basket. And this is very simple. All he's going to do is attach around the two pins and over. If you've got one with a leg divider, he's going to come over that leg divider. Some baskets have it and some don't. And then about 12 to 18 inches below the foot of the basket, he's going to finish off with a bowling. And of course, he's going to tie safety just to keep that rope secure. And this completes the rigging for lowering a basket in the vertical.